Okay, hi guys. I am so excited for today's episode. We are kicking off like our salon horror stories and I have Q Alyssa here to do it with me and it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So, so am I. Okay, so I'm Alyssa. I've been a cosmetologist for six years this year. Casey and I worked like little high school jobs together briefly and then later on reconnected working in the same salon space. You were there for about a year. Yes. I was there for a little bit longer. Anyways, so we go way back. I'm very excited to be here to tell this story. Should I just get into it? Yeah, please. <laughs> I like, I'm like itching because I just remember how crazy no, it was. you're going to get the play-by-play. -play. I'm so excited. <laughs> she even has the receipts. I'm just pull up my phone here. <laughs> I'll show, I'll show them to you, but I'm not showing them to anybody okay. else. Okay, deal. Okay, so. When you're first starting out as a stylist, I, all of you know this, this is the hairstylist podcast, right? Yeah. Pretty okay. Much, yeah. So everyone knows you're on Facebook, you're hustling, you're trying to get those classified ads out there to get clients in. So that's what I was doing. And Facebook, I've been like very touch and go with, like I'll have either clients that like become super loyal and they love me very or, or they happen like this, <laughs> like yeah. what happened here. Yeah. So anyways, she was hustling. She was trying Okay, got this client. She's like, okay, I want a full volume set and I was like all right dope come on in pays her deposit everything seems normal and she said she had had lashes before so she I assumed she knew the pre-care yeah. red flag number one I should you should never assume never that. assume never but assume also that. like green flag she didn't cause any issues with the deposit right and usually right. so right. like clients who are gonna raise hell don't pay a deposit yeah they give you crap about it right yeah okay so, so Red and green neutrals out. So they cancel out. So we're back at zero. <laughs> so I assume she knew. Then she comes in full beat, full glam. Red <laughs> flag number one. Yeah. Full glam. I look, she sits down and I look at her eyes and there's just powder, like eyeshadow everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, so, like I was fighting with myself for the first five minutes, like fumbling with my shiz because I was like, why would you do this? You know, like if you yeah. had lashes before, like would you, surely you would know this is not going to work. So I was like, do I just, do I wash her lash, like wash her whole face, like all around her eyes and piss her off at the end of this? Or do I just like gently brush her lashes off and yeah. hope for the best? I went the second route. I just was like, that's probably what I would have done too, right. honestly. Because I was like, she's a new client. I'm not trying to mess this up, you know? Yeah. Like, and it's not like when you wash them, like it's not like you just get the lashes. Like it would take like raccoon eyes off yeah, right right and she was she was beat down with the makeup so i was like you're gonna notice if i just take it yeah. off you know yeah and i know it was in preparation for her to get the full set she was like i want to see the full effect, the full effect. She's done. yeah i get it I yeah get it. okay so we do the set and of course i'm just starting out doing lashes at this point like just starting didn't have a ton of like product that i super loved you know how you like yeah. have to test mm -hmm. out and find brands that you like whatever okay so I just had what I had. <laughs> Living on a prayer. <laughs> Praying uh, hope for the best. <laughs> just kidding. No. I, yeah, I just was very new to it. Looking back now, I'm like, I would have never used those lashes ever again. But that's besides the point. Yeah. So fine. we live and we learn. I tell, she's like, how long will it be? I said two to two and a half hours, kind of depending. This yeah. is important to remember this for later. We get done at the two hour mark, okay? Because her, she didn't have a ton of natural lashes. Oh yeah, so, so it was, was like, like easy. easy, cheddared, quick. Yeah. Which I, being a new lash artist, I was like, dang, like I'm good. I've done this in two like, hours. I'm like, period. <laughs> like I created this. <laughs> so we get done, and then four days later, four. My policy states within 72 hours if there's an issue, please text me. And even For then, I feel like that's generous. Yeah, like, 72 hours is a little lengthy. I'm perfect. like 48 is pushing it. Right. Like, if you don't get a hold of me in 48, your issue ain't that bad. <laughs> like, right. So it's 72. It's been 72, it still is 72, whatever. She hits me up at the four day mark. Hey, like, some are like falling out already. And I was like, well, it's been almost a week. Like, okay, yeah. you know? Yeah. And she said, I have the text right here so I can keep with the timeline. <laughs> it's so scary looking at these texts. Okay, first of all, look at the finished product. Like, I, I was so new. Like, look how, no. <laughs> pretty consistent all the way across yeah. you know what I mean like it was a set she paid she got the result 
Whatever. That's not a set that I would have even thought you'd like complain about. That's a compliment. That's really good. Because <laughs> looking back now, I'm like, damn, no one did No, like, no. <laughs> okay. So I was like, of course, like I can, I, okay, so we're at the four day mark. And I still said, of course I can get you in on Monday because it was a weekend. And I was like, I'm not dealing with you on my yeah. days off. Like yeah. I need to mentally reset before yeah. I do this. So I said, I can get you in Monday to fix them. No problem. Won't even charge you, whatever. And I was like, just a heads up, you have a pretty thin natural lash line. So you're probably going to notice more shedding than someone who has, has like thicker thick lashes. lashes. Right. Yeah. Just as a heads up. And then she's like, well, I've had no one else tell me that. So whatever. But I'll see you on Monday. And I was like, okay, slay. See you Monday, babe. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, well, your other artists are chickens. And then we get into the dreaded, well, can I have my money back? Oh, shit. Piss. Oh, wait, can we swear on here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so mad. And even back then, when I was like freshly doing lashes, like I don't do refunds. It's yeah. my policy. No. You can have a free fix or you get nothing. Like yeah. the service is rendered. Yeah. Yeah. So she was like, honestly, I paid you for good lashes and I didn't even really get good lashes. And you did it in this amount. Of, I did it in two hours. And she's like, you didn't use the full two and a half hours. And I was like, isn't that a pro? Like, don't you want to get out of here sooner? I like, mean, two hours for, like, an experienced lash artist is average. Right. Two hours is the average. Sure. So I just was like, so you're complaining that I didn't spend more time. But but on what? You don't even have that many lashes. Yeah. Girl. Like, there's no, it's, I couldn't have spent more time if I wanted to. Yeah. So that was confusing. Oh, dear. And I said, oh, so sorry you were unhappy with it. Like I said before, you have a thin natural lash line, like, but I'm able to get you in, like, still offering to do the yeah. free service. I said, I'm unable to refund you, but I'd be, if you need a full set by Monday, I'll just do it again. Like, all good, girl. Like, we're cool. I'm on your team. Yeah. Let me know if you need a, and I also said, I left the door open. I said, if you would rather go to someone else, I'd be happy to refer you to someone. And I was like, my policies are listed here. Go to my website. Check them out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. You know, and then she sort of goes like gremlin mode and is like texting me, okay? <laughs> she. <laughs> gremlin mode. <though. laughs> no. For, no, literally. For, I remember this day I was working the desk for six hours straight. Ding, 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 ding. My phone is going off with oh text messages from this woman. That's when the threats started rolling. She was like threatening me. The threats start rolling in on this text thread. If you don't give me my money back, blah, blah, blah. Like just absolutely off straight gremlin. Why should I do about it? Well, I'm going to get into it because <laughs> she did something. So oh. six hours. I finally blocked her number because I was like, at this point, this is harassment and I can prove that. Yeah. yeah. So I blocked her number. I was like, I've already offered you your options. It's right, the you were chill about it. Right. And what I'm offering you is the equivalent value of another full set, like, which is basically your money back. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, anyways, ended up blocking her. I can't remember if she, if she ended up, I'm trying to think. Pause. Okay, I don't have the extensive receipts that I thought I had. Because I had to delete it for like energetic sake. Like I had to, I had to depart from this you scenario. Stages. I was like, I can't even have this on my phone anymore. So she sends me all the messages, starts threatening me. I want to say it was like the same day. She rolls up to the salon, unannounced. Well, not unannounced. She was threatening me. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't announce anymore. She was <laughs> yeah, she was, <laughs> yeah. She was then, but she. I thought she was done. She wasn't. Rolls up with a friend. She brought back up. She brought back up. Comes to the Girl. desk and is like trying to talk to me about this and is like, <laughs> I like laugh thinking about it because because there was a moment when I was sitting at the desk and I was like chuckling to myself because I was like, is this really happening? Like, is she really here like, where's this? the prank? You know, no, literally, I was like, who's pranking? And me? I almost laughed in her face. Like, I almost laughed in her face because I was like, wait, what? Like that? Like, you know? this is my life. So she starts telling me and I was. I had the sensibility to be like, if you want to talk about this, we need to step outside. And at that point I was still on the clock. 
hadn't even told anyone anything. First of all, because I was like, this girl brought yeah. back up. Like, what? what is she planning on doing? You know what I mean? If, yeah. if you're going to cause a scene, you move outside, you know? So I just leave the desk and walk outside with this girl. She starts doing the same thing. Like, all the things that she texted me were the things she was saying to me in person. And I gave her the same spiel. Yeah. She's like, I was like, girl, I don't, I don't have your money. The bills have been paid. The bank account is empty. Like, I'm, your money's gone. Your insurance. <laughs> you know, give me your money no, back. No, literally. And I said that to her. I was like, girl, like, even if I wanted to give you back your money, I don't got any. Yeah. <laughs> it's not made it yet. There's my shirt it's gone, though. You know? <laughs> Oh and she's gosh. like, she, then she starts looking at me. I think she thought I was lying to her because she looks at me and she goes, you don't have any money? And I was like, no, I told you that. <laughs> I don't have money to give you. Like, And she's like, no, I'm going to call the police and they're going to take it out of your fucking bank account. And I was like, what? <laughs> she At that point, she was trying to intimidate me and like yeah. to try and see if I was actually lying to her. Yeah. And I was like. I looked at her in the face and I said, okay, you do that and give me a call when you get figured out. <laughs> no, I literally did that. And I start walking off. I literally, the most ballsy thing I've ever done in my life. I was like, yeah, when you have that figured out, you just let me know you can come back here with the police. I would have been like, stop me. Here's my credit card. No, dude. Like, I was like, I'm number. sick on them. Okay, and let me be clear. I'm not here to <laughs> demonize clients. Like, you should never, I should not have been talking to her like that. But after being. This like, doesn't happen dude, often, though. Dude, no. Like, and after being harassed, I was just like, done. Yeah. I was like. I'm not lying to you. You're not getting your money back. Your yeah. little friend isn't here to beat me up. Like, and like this wouldn't have gone any other like way with anybody else. Like this would have been the same scenario with anybody else. I don't feel like it's like demonizing a client. Like, I don't know. So I start walking my, myself off and she starts screaming at me through the parking lot. You fat fucking bitch. I'm going to get my money whether you like it or not. Blah, blah, blah. Like screaming, screaming. Clients are walking in and out of the salon, wondering what's going on. I walked back oh into the desk. Gosh. Thank heavens it was almost the end of my shift. I clocked out and left. I was like, I'm exhausted. I just almost got beat up. Like, <laughs> well, just imagine if that would happen during the day when the manager was there. Like, it would have gone completely different. I think was there. Wait, really? Yeah. Because she was annoyed that I stepped away from the desk. <laughs> and I was like, I promise I can explain. Yeah, you're like, oh my gosh. She either was just about to leave, so she was like oblivious to what was yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she was there and was like, everything okay? Because I remember someone asking something. me, she was yeah. like, you okay? I was like, mm, sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> Dude, I can't because, even. But like, it gets worse. Like, that's only that's only part of the story. Like, okay, so I called her out on that. I was like, you go ahead and do it. See what yeah. happens. Nobody's taking shit out of my bank account. I think two days go by. Maybe a day. It's noon. Busy time at yeah. the salon. Yeah. And I'm not working the desk. I'm taking clients at this point, okay? Had a new client in my chair doing my lashes, whatever, or on the lash bed, whatever. The, I think it was who came and got me and was like, so, like, someone's here to see you. <laughs> yeah. So, I, well, I'm like, did I accidentally double book myself? Yeah. Like, that's, what? like, what you, like, what? always yeah. resort to is, like, oh, shit. I was like, crap, I'm going to, you know, I come out, the police are <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I was definitely not there when this happened. I was like, mm, my lash is falling off. I'm getting stressed. I know, I'm like pissed. Dude, like, dude, it doesn't make your face. Her. It makes my face hot. <laughs> it, oh, it just makes me so mad. The cops are standing there. And I was like, it, and there was a detective. It wasn't even like just regular, like a sheriff walks in. No, it was like a detective. What did you tell your client that you had at the time? Were you like, I, oh. I was like, if you guys, I literally. I was so professional. I was so proud of myself. I was scared to death, first of all. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, this is really happening, you know? Yeah. So I was like, you guys are welcome to take a seat in the back so we can talk privately. And I'm going to go tell my client I'm going to be a few minutes. So just one second. They go sit in the back. 
I go back and tell my client, like, I didn't tell her what's going on because I'm embarrassed, like, I'm mortified. Yeah. That the cops are here to talk to me. And as a new client, would you not be shitting your pants? Yeah. Would you be like, real. oh my gosh, my lash tech's getting arrested. <laughs> like, what's going like, on? Uh... Yeah. So I just, I just lived around the bed. And we were probably back there talking for, like, 30 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah. Thankfully, thankfully I'm smart and I had all the text messages and, like, timestamps on photos and, like, before and after yeah. pictures and, like, transaction receipts. Like, I had it all. So I go back there and I'm like shaking, okay, like quaking in my like your voice is like, oh. like, ah, like no. <laughs> but the thing that got me pissed, the thing that got me mad, is all the girls from the salon invited themselves to the back room. <laughs> I so would have. <laughs> Busy, like mixing yeah. color really slowly, going through their cabinets really I slowly. Like, oh, I need to organize all this here. No, I I a couple of them just straight up sat down and were like waiting to see what happened. So, yeah, which so, got for so I sit today? down and I'm I like, hello, officers. <laughs> and they're like, so we got a we got a tip that like you're charging people's cards without their knowledge what so in other words she straight up had to lie to get them to even come down there yeah she didn't even tell them what the happened. full story yes they would have been like well actually like we can go through you for harassment can you believe that oh it makes my face hot oh my okay, gosh okay so we're, we sit down and i'm like again scared out of my scared shitless embarrassed everyone is here to watch my clients waiting like it was just a high pressure yeah. situation and hold on i gotta take a drink before this next part <laughs> oh my god gotta get it down mm -hmm. okay i showed them i was like a couple days ago i did this last client here's the timestamps. here's the pictures i handed them my phone i was like it's in an i put it in an album i was like here's the album you can go through the text Whatever you need, you know, just, they're in order. Yeah, so you know, now. I was like, if you just click here, you can see the timestamp and the date and the location. Like, all this shit, right? The one guy starts going through it. The other guy's just sitting there rolling his eyes because he knew because he knew. He knew he was like, This is this was bullshit. Like this girl lied. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank heavens, like the salon owner at the time had my back and she was like I, she was being a lot more ballsy, like speaking to them with an attitude more than I was. Oh, like, I can hear that. No, you like, know, yeah, you know what she sounds yeah. like. So she was like, "Excuse me, this was not at all." Blah blah. blah. You know what I mean? She like, yeah. So I appreciated her having my back because she could see that I was visibly like shook, shooken up about this whole yeah. situation. Yeah. And I was like, obviously the timestamps are here. Like, just, just let me go. Just let me go. Yeah. Let me go. Let me out of here, please. <laughs> just leave the salon. So. They go through all the stuff and they look at me and they're like, okay, obviously there's either been a mix up or. Yeah. Because there's nothing illegal. And he said that to me. He looked me in the face and he's like, there's obviously nothing illegal going on here. And I was like, oh, yeah, there isn't yeah. anything illegal. Like, no. If you want to know something illegal, this girl's been threatening me. She brought up, she brought back up to come and beat my ass at the salon during business hours. <laughs> she <laughs> freaking like, do you know flag pole? No, literally. And I was, it, like, I have witnesses of people who, like, heard her calling me disgusting things, like, yeah. through the parking lot, screaming. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh. And, and the owner at the time, she's like, I'm about to send her a cease and desist to her place of work when it's the busiest time of day. No joke. Like, yeah, she was like. No joke. And, and the thing that pissed her off is she's like, we've supported their business, had them cater food for us, like. So the fact that she decided to come here and do this is like a really big slap in the yeah. face. And yeah. so disrespectful. So. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is freaking whack. It just was, again, like, when when does this happen? Like, Well, and it's just so crazy too because <laughs> like, especially the fact that like, she was a known person at the salon, like new, and a fellow business owner. Like, I feel like when you're a business owner, you literally, like, breathe with caution. Because right. Especially in such a cancel culture right now. Not that, like, anybody from Tremont and Utah is going to get canceled. But, no, like, but you do within the community, that. you could be yeah. canceled. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, 
And so, like, the fact that, like, I don't know. That's it, it was wild. a ballsy move. It was a, it was a ballsy move. She obviously needed the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, at that point, like, I, th- I don't quote me on this, but I want to say I remember her saying her boyfriend had paid for them. So, I don't know if he oh. was instigating this or something. Yeah, but still, I But don't even know. still, right? I guess that's just, like, the passive-aggressive in me. I would have just been, like whatever it's fine like here's my money i'm not going back to her like to get her right. money you know what i mean right. like what the hell well, my motto now is like i'm in this like zen place now years later where i'm just like life is too short like if you can keep you yeah. can have my money yeah yeah, yeah. exactly bucks. you know what i mean I don't know. Do we have time for one more? I can tell you yeah, that one. Let's do it. I'm like on a roll. <laughs> We're gonna have to sage this room before we leave, though. Dude, yeah, so like, do. no bad you do. You. I honestly but, like, need to delete the receipts that I have. I need to not carry them. <laughs> now that we've done this, you can delete them. <laughs> We're putting a toothbrush is done. <laughs> Just put it on your iPod <clears throat> so you can delete it. So like, if you're like bored, archive it. Day, <laughs> yeah, hide it, hide it. Put it in your eyes only on mm-hmm. snap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This one's not as long, um, but it was equally as frustrating. Well, not equally as frustrating after that. Honestly, after that situation, I haven't dealt with anything worse. Yeah. Really. I feel like we all have that one. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you, you fry someone's hair really bad, yeah. like you do, you do your one bad, bad. The funny thing is, like, now that I'm thinking about it, any issue I've ever had has been in Logan. <laughs> like, I can't even think I mean, of... yeah, I've up. Like, I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> this is true. I feel like I'm... Yeah, I've had my first sure problem But, like, I can't think of minus. anything, like... The only issues I can think of that have happened in Tremont have happened to other people. They haven't happened to me. Mm. Like, it's just been... You. She just loves you. <laughs> I'm like, dang. Not alive. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so this story. I This is the client that made me stop taking bridal clients for, like, over a year. Oh, dear. So up until, like, two oh, years dear. ago, I decided I wanted to get back into it. She's yeah. the one who made me stop. Oh, dear. Nothing and keep ever in mind when a bride is involved. Keep in mind, with my, like cosmetology origin story makeup was my first love that yeah. i was doing that for longer yeah. before that's like what got you into yes it. yes i was like i wanted to go to school for makeup and decided like oh cosmetology like i might as well just do it all yeah spend the time so yeah. that's a little bit about me so i i really like makeup yeah like that's and like she made kid. me stop like <laughs> well that's like a big deal like <laughs> oh so i go to do this client she had this was at another salon not local to here when I very first got out of school. She happened to be a client of the owners. Oh dear. Yeah, so stakes were high, right? Because yeah. I was like, oh dang, like I gotta do a really good job because she's gonna tell the owner yeah. what's going on, right? We <laughs> Honestly, one of these episodes we should tell that story, but I would get insane. I would they would just, freaking come. Literally, for me. those wheels were I'm like, that's a <laughs> no, whole that's a whole other thing. story in and of itself. The very first one I worked yeah. for. Yeah. And like yeah. honestly, that one I probably wouldn't tell. I'm too scared. <laughs> I would be too scared to be associated with that story going public. Yeah. Yeah, that one we better keep under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> it would be good though. Like, oh yeah, that one would be killer. Okay. That would be popcorn. But maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days. We you get like a voice changer. <laughs> they blur my face. <laughs> no one will know. It's a secret interview. <laughs> no, literally. Ooh, but that one would be really good to tell. Yeah, but that I, one, I can see that, that one going like, wrong really quickly. We could do that one as like a what salon not to work in. <laughs> I don't know everything about what not to do in this industry. No, literally, it would it would literally be like what I wish I knew coming out of beauty yeah. school, like all the things I did wrong. Yeah, because <laughs> they went wrong fast in, in one year's time. Oh my god! That's why I started working the desk at what's. what's oh, it I remember. I had that. to stop doing hair because it was such a bad experience. I thought I was done dizzle doing hair after that, so I worked the desk for a year. Yeah, because it was so bad. <sighs> I remember. I used to like follow her and like look up to her and stuff until you told me that whole story and now I can't unsee it like and and that's the thing is like the thread of like 
distraction that follows her is mm-hmm. never ending. Well, that's what I was just going to say. It's not just you I've heard it from either. Right. Like, like I've, I've had mm-hmm. other people that I know that have worked there and have left for the same thing before it became yeah. that. Yeah. Like, just so wild. wild. But, so it was her client. <laughs> Shit. So we we do the trial. At this point, I was like on it. Bridal contract. Trial one required. Like you have to have it or yeah. I cannot take yeah. you. Um, we write down all of the products that we've used. Are we still recording? I hope so. Okay. I think so. We got the first part. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We're good. Okay, cool. Okay. Had all my ducks in a row, right? I'm thinking, I am a professional. Like I'm here do her makeup do the trial run she got done like like she was spending so much money on this wedding got done like super expensive facials to make sure her like texture was on oh, point yeah, yeah. so that the makeup would be good oh, which i appreciate like, like she was super invested and she's like i'm gonna have a spray tan so we'll have to adjust the color like is yeah. this all still gonna work like she let me know what her process oh, was dang. gonna be leading up so i was like extra prepared right yeah and I feel like that's, like, usually that's, like, ideal client. I, yeah, I like, appreciated it sweet, so much. I was you. like, oh, you're, like, the dream client. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I want you to go get facials for your texture. Yes. Good. She's like, well, I have all this Botox scheduled. Is this going to affect anything? Blah, blah, blah. Like, this time her, yeah. her Botox schedule. And I was like, this is great. Yeah. This is so good. Like, yeah. You're sweet. willing to invest. Right. Do the trial. Write it all down. Got it ready. And this was months in advance because I told her, I was like, if you decide you don't like this look, let's do another trial. Let's do a yeah. follow-up trial. Yeah. Sign the contract. Pay the deposit. I go down there. And it was for her and, like, a, her bridesmaids mm-hmm. and stuff. They are, like, four hours late coming back from whatever it is that they were doing. Me and wow. my assistant, who I probably am trying to decide if I should even bring her up. I'm not going to okay. scratch the fact that I said assistant. Okay. I'll just cut her out completely. <laughs> Keep it safe. <laughs> Ooh. She's a sweet girl, and I do not have a problem with her. So, anyways, we go there. I go there. Just me. <laughs> They're four hours late. And the whole party shows up, and they're like texting me, keeping in touch. They're like, oh, so sorry. Like, this and this is going on. And I was like, I'm in AC, I'm sitting in your Airbnb, I'm already set up, my shit's sanitized, like, it's no sweat off my back, you guys are just gonna be late, like, I'm not rushing this. Yeah. You guys are gonna be late, though, you know, which yeah. you know, obviously. Yeah. Because you're four hours late. So I'm just, like, 30 minutes late. Oh, I don't know. So, they get there. I start busting down on these bridesmaids, because it's, like, quick. And, like, for me, when I do a bride, the bridesmaids are limited to... A specific look so I can keep the pricing low mm-hmm. when they want to do a group and so that no one can request a look that's more like dramatic than the brides you know what yeah. I mean because I think that's yeah. the crock of shit like I hate when bridesmaids do that it's like yeah what are you doing yeah you're not getting married like be quiet like let your bride have her moment and, like you get lashes and like a little bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah like that's it yeah nothing else. and you don't want to pay for more anyways yeah so don't ask you know do the bridesmaids glam looking good fabulous get to the bride she's plastered plastered and i my poor little naive heart at the time i don't drink or anything y'all i don't hang out with people who drink so i had no idea <laughs> i was like why is she acting so weird like, like <laughs> what the hell? Is this i'm like pre wedding you okay? nerds? yeah i'm like are you feeling okay <laughs> like what was i doing so Do i was like poisoning <laughs> Okay, you were definitely not like this at the trial. Like, what's going on? Anyways, comes in, was acting a little weird. <laughs> Sits down. I start doing her makeup. Keep in mind, we're in bathroom lighting with that stupid yellow, like, bulb that's, oh. like, ancient, like, a million yeah. years old. So it's, like, not the ideal place to be doing this. The bridesmaids, I did an open, in an open area with windows. Uh-huh. So, like, better. So the lighting was definitely very different. Keep that in mind for the rest of the story. Do her makeup. She has her spray tan. We color match her to her spray tan. And I use all of the products that we used during the trial yeah. that I had listed out. I literally wrote it down. She starts saying to me, like, oh, like, it's looking really weird. Like, this is not the same, like, as it was during the trial. Like, just, like, almost arguing with me over what I did. And I was like, honey, 
there's no way it could look different. Cause I literally wrote down step, like I have a play by play of yeah. your makeup look from the trial. There's no chance in hell this is different than what we did. And I'm sure it was the lighting getting to her. Mm-hmm. It had to have been. That would have been the only Plus thing that not made sense. being a hundred percent there. Yeah. Funny little side note. She was also gone and still hammering drinks while I'm doing her make- trying to do her makeup. Was she like? Did she not like her husband? I don't know if she just was really stressed. Rethinking what she was doing, like I don't know, dude. I don't know. She's like, I'm gonna drink till my feet aren't cold. No, <laughs> literally, I just was like, she couldn't even sit still for long enough, so it put us even further behind. Right. So instead of an hour for her makeup, it's taken me like two hours just On for top the of makeup. The already four hours late. Oh She's my just gosh. time and arguing with me about it. Oh. So God, then oh I gosh. take her out into the open area and I show her the lighting and I'm like holding up a mirror and I'm like, see, everything matches. Everything yeah, blends. Looks everything looks better. how it did. And she did have me make a couple of adjustments. Like she's like, oh, I look really shiny here, blah, blah, blah. So like I did like make a couple of adjustments because I was like, whatever at this point, like there's yeah. nothing I can do. Yeah. Gets done. And small adjustments. Like, right. Sure. Like. Yeah. Game time decision, like, if you need a little something, yeah. like, I got you. Whatever. Yeah. Cool. She goes to the wedding. Months later. Mo- didn't hear from her. Months later, she says, she gets her, I saw this on a, like, from a, it was like a fluke situation. I happened to see a post from her on Facebook. Her and I were not Facebook friends. I'm sure it came up as a suggested post because I was friends with the owner uh-huh. of that salon, right? Yeah. Saying that she got her wedding photos back and that she was pissed off her bridesmaids looked better than her. Like as if I had done that on purpose or something. Were her bridesmaids as blacked out as she was? Well, no. Number one, no. And number two, they weren't sitting there arguing with me and going like this. You know what I mean? While I'm trying to do their makeup. So it's like, of course, it was much more efficient with those ones. You know what I mean? And when you make adjustments the day of, that's not super smart. Yeah. I was shocked. Well, I honey, like, sometimes your ugly inside shows through the outside. We're not, we're not gonna talk about that. That's not moving. We're not gonna talk about that. See you for what you truly no, are. No, that is <laughs> ugly. <laughs> no, literally. So she's like ranting. She doesn't mention my name, which I appreciated. Oh, yeah. At the very least, but of course, again, mortified. Obviously, the o- the owner of the saw song knows. Yeah, saw it. Knows what's going on. Well, she thinks she knows what's going on. She yeah. wasn't there. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. My policy then changed to no alcohol until your makeup's done. I literally won't even allow it. I'll tell you no. I'll just stop working. Yeah. Because it's ridiculous. I don't know if that sounds entitled. If, if you guys disagree, comment. Comment. Comment what you would have done. Yeah. And if you make your brides wait to like pregame until after you're done with your makeup. Because that is literally the only time I've had a bride do that. Like I feel like all the brides wait. I'm like even thinking like I feel like I'm in like 27 dresses and I've been in like 27 weddings. And I don't even think... Every wedding I've been in, there's been alcohol involved, but it's never been a bride getting drunk, getting ready. I get it. Like, a little mimosa, a little brunch action yeah. while you're getting ready, like, cool, whatever. But, but you know like, that's what they were doing during their four hours while they were late. Dude, that is it just wild. was not adding up. It just was not. I was so mortified that I stopped doing brides for a while. Yeah. Because I was like, this just is not worth it. Yeah. There's no amount that you can pay me to put up with this stuff. And then months later, time. have it come back to bite me in the butt well, and it's for like, doing what, though? Even though, like, she didn't say your name or anything, you know. you know, And, like, and even the, though you know the truth, though, that still sucks The bridesmaids see. knew. She knew. I knew. And the owner knew. Yeah. And anyone else who knew that I did her trials, i.e. the other people working in the salon, also knew. Yeah. Well, anyone that she told, like... And keep in mind, I feel like if you have a crappy photographer, 
There is yeah. no amount of good makeup that will yeah. make your photos look good. So then I'm like, okay, I want to see these photos. You know, yeah. like that's true. So you know, people's on the like wedding day, people's budgets go else. You know, sometimes food is more important than the photographer to them. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So, it's so true. that there's variables that play into it. So but true. yeah, now my policy is drinking does not commence until you're done. Yeah. Like, so if you want to get drunk, you better be first. And you better be on time. <laughs> and you better not want to smoke you. And, like, I make the bride go first now, too. Because I'm, like, good. I want to make sure you're set. You can be in your makeup for a bit and make sure you're yeah. good. And then there's time if you really need an adjustment. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I can't with people. I can't. When I felt, like, so overly prepared with her, I just was so yeah. shook that that's how that went. Yeah. Yeah. And then that definitely didn't help your case at that salon yeah. anyways, but... No, no, no. And that was even, like, the earlier... I was like, that wasn't was even when she hit the van. Yeah, like, that wasn't even when it went south yet. Oh, my god! Like, are we kidding? So... I can't. Yeah, it just... Oh. This industry, I love it, but sometimes it's kind of a lot of shit. <laughs> Like, do I go back to working at the grocery store? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. place are you hiring? <laughs> no. For two. Please. Literally. Ooh. No, but like, in all honesty, like we said, you always have like yeah. the one or two wild cards. Yeah. In, and true. when you've been in the game for long enough, it's bound to happen. It's just yeah. going to. Yeah. It's true. So I've only ever, in my entire almost seven years, yeah. you know, six years this year. No? Yeah. Six yeah, years this year. Is. And I've had two or three. Yeah. Really well, it's like one wild of the girls ones. here had an issue with a girl not super long ago, like a couple months ago, but she's been working for over a year. Mm -hmm. And like she posts and takes like clients from online all the time. And I told her when it happened, I was like, I'm honestly surprised it's taken this long to happen. And I was like, but it won't happen again. Like you get one or two and then really like it, yeah, I don't you know find why it just doesn't. And, yeah. Well, and here's the other thing is you start recognizing the flat, the red flags yeah. and you kind of know yeah. before they sit down. Facebook classified fl clients, red flag all over. <laughs> Don't like, do it. Never. <laughs> like, no, Dude, ever. it's just rough out here for a new stylist. Like, you just yeah. have to be out here, like, putting your life on the line to try and make a dollar. Yeah. Like. And not ask to give that dollar back. Yeah. And then not, not be robbed of the dollar. You just think, yeah. like, my gosh. It's nuts. Not being a freaking shakedown for the money you just made. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh man. That's freaking wild though. It's so crazy. It's a joke. Looking back. It is. It is such a joke. And I just look at these people and I'm just like, it could not, that could never be neat. Like I literally would never do that. Ever. Yeah. No. And what I don't get is like, this industry, yes, it's a service injury injury it's a service it is an injury it is an injury <laughs> it's a service casualties are happening all around <laughs> but it's like it's also a luxury like any service yeah this is not a necessity no it's none optional. of it mm -hmm. like and so it's like that's where i don't get their refunds because they never come from a good place of heart i feel like it's a spiteful like, thing to yeah. be petty to show you that they're in control and not you yeah. and it's like if you needed that money bad enough that you're calling the cops over this refund like you shouldn't have been here to begin with yeah why did you even get it done yeah if you needed a hundred bucks like and it. nothing here like you can say like a lash lift is low maintenance which i guess that is but like you have to come back. Yeah, even still. Like, everything yeah. you have to come back or just don't ever get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't either, man. I, I, I think what it is is people have this mentality, like, with, with the fast food industry, if you bitch and cry and complain about it enough, you get a refund yeah. or you get free food or you get... That's this whole generation you know right I mean? now. Yeah, like, like, I feel like that's the mentality. So when you come to a place where it's service-based or it's a service-based mm -hmm. industry... The concept does not apply still. No. I'm just honestly glad, like, as shitty as the generations are growing up, at least we're getting out of, like, the customer's always right mindset. That Yeah, that's one thing I appreciate. Because it's years. not. Yeah. No, no. 
No. I feel like very rarely. The is only the time it's like that is when you're at Disneyland, and that's it. Like, yeah. only I mean, Disneyland will give you what you want. No White wants to swear yeah. up every once in a while. Really, I'm like, even then, I've seen so many people thrown out of Disney lately. Yeah. Like, it's true. It's true. But I can't. It's dumb. Yeah. I'm curious though to hear like horror stories from the opposite side. I know. Like if people had like a shitty. Because, like, as much as I want to say how crappy these situations are, there's an equal amount of customers who have had, like, just awful stylists, like... 100%. And I'm not just talking about, like, where we cut two inches off your hair because you asked for us to cut two inches off your hair, but you don't know how much two inches it is. That doesn't count. You're, like, (laughs) not that situation. Like, (laughs) that doesn't count. You need to learn two inches. (laughs) But... Two inches is not this. No. Like, but, Yeah. So all the horror stories on both ends, like, send them in. Alyssa's going to come back, hopefully, and do some more with us. Even if it's, like, reading them. I feel like that would be fun, too. <laughs> okay. Or or if you want to read your own, if it's, like... Yeah, send in voice memos and just add them yeah. to the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I think I'd come back for one more. It's yeah, pretty fun. I got a good time. I got a donut. <laughs> We're good. I got a donut for reliving all my traumatic experiences. <laughs> here, We're good. Here, hold my rocks. Thank you. Wait, yeah. hold this in one hand. This yeah. is a cleanser. This is what you need. Just like I actually have this bowl, so I'm like, really? yeah. I got it from the Crystal Corner. Yeah. Is that yeah. where you got yours? Yeah. yeah. That's where I got my rocks. Shout out to the Crystal Corner. Dude. Yeah. I really sage Thank everybody you. out Wait, here. I have sage in here too. Oh yeah, you better light one up, dude. Yeah. Because let's. Because I need to like cleanse. <laughs> So anyways, so anyways, um, yeah, I'm like, so we're never, ever, ever revisiting this ever again. Yeah, we're done. It's just on the internet now permanently. <laughs> so we don't have to revisit it though. We can just re-listen to it. You're like, you want to know my story? No. Here you go. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> never wasting my breath on this story no. again. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay. Well, thanks for listening and... Watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment below. Let us know what you guys would have done or if yeah. you've experienced something similar. <laughs> I'd be curious to read comments. Or if this is you, what I'm sorry. curious to read comments. I don't know. <laughs> we <laughs> want to read some nice comments. Yeah. If it's rude, we're just, just you're getting ignored. Just send it to your mom. How would you feel sending that to your mom? <laughs> if you wouldn't talk to your mother like that, <laughs> don't put it on the internet. Exactly. <laughs> so dumb. Just, okay. Goodbye. <sighs> Okay, no, I guess. That was an hour, girl. Is that gonna be too long? No. Okay. That's